Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you. I am on the journey of hopefully reaching 1,000 subscribers before the end of 2021. And you can help me out by clicking the subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So as you can see by the title of the video and my ghostly face that has no dimension, <laughs> my Anastasia Beverly Hills package came in with the cream bronzer, cream blush, and cream highlighter. So I am excited to get those on my face and see what I think about them. I am going to compare them with the Makeup by Mario and the Nude Sticks blush and bronzer sticks. So why don't we go ahead and get started to um, adding some depth to this face because I feel like I look like I'm dead. If you wanna see where my thoughts are on these new Anastasia Beverly Hills products, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Right, just wanted to show you real quick there's foam in here so they packaged it very well i was pleasantly surprised this is the unit carton for the blush and the highlighter i really like that i think it's pretty cute and simple and this is the unit carton for the bronzer um it is like a uh, soft matte material i do enjoy it it's nice all right so this is what the blush and the highlighter look like. So there's the blush and at the bottom you have the little brush. Um, this one is easier to close than the Makeup by Mario, which is nice. There's the highlighter and same thing, the brush. I do like the, the rose gold chrome type of material. I do think this is a very beautiful package. And this is the cream bronzer. The top is the same material as the unicorn, which is like a soft matte. Um, the plastic little container looks fogged up, but it's plastic, it's not glass. This is in the shade Amber. That's what she looks like. For the blush, I got it in Pink Dahlia. And for the highlight, I got it in Dripping in Gold. The bronzer is going to run you for $35. Um, honestly, I do think that's a little expensive, especially because um, this is actually smaller than I pictured it. I thought it was going to be bigger. I don't know why, maybe I just have big hands, but I honestly thought it was going to be bigger. <laughs> and for the highlighter, this is going to run you for $34. I also think that's a little bit on the pricier side. <laughs> And for the blush, it's 32. So the blush is cheaper than the highlighter. Um, I wonder why, maybe it's the formula itself. Why don't uh, we get to putting these on my face? All right, so I am very casual today. I have like a little um, crew neck, whatever these are. It's like a hoodie without the hood. It's a crew neck, right? Um, I was going to dip my brush right into this, but I think I'm going to pick up product like I did with my elf and i got it in the shade amber oh it's very creamy um i wasn't sure which shade to get so that's the shade i got it is the second lightest and it is available in seven shades and the last three shades so almost half of the shades are pretty dark which is uh very nice and um you know other makeup brands should really learn from that <laughs> like it's possible it can be done fyi <laughs> face is on and i have not set anything but my under eyes so why don't we go ahead and go in with the cream bronzer this is uh real techniques 200 um, i did not contour i usually do but i just might um, after I'm done with the bronzer. I did watch Patty Alonso's review on this and she got the same shade as I did. And she said for some reason the shade looked yellow on her. Um, so I'm hoping it does not look yellow on me. I don't think it is. It is a little warmer than I would like it to be. Um, but it's okay because it's a bronzer. So yeah. 
Okay, so here it is. I did go in with the Mario bronzer. It's a little bit more of a cool tone shade. So I contoured a tiny bit. So this shade is pretty warm for my liking. Um, I definitely feel like it looks a tiny bit orange. It doesn't look yellow, but it does for me, I feel like look a tiny bit orange. This is the second lightest shade. This is amber and I probably should have gone with the third lightest shade, but it's not too bad. It doesn't look too horrible, I don't think. I don't know what you guys think, well, let me know. <laughs> the product itself though is very, very beautiful. I don't think um, I have worked with a cream bronzer. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It definitely blends out matte and it definitely almost looks like powder once you blend it out like um it reminds me of that cream to powder formula that jacqueline has for her blushes but yeah it's it's so hard to explain um i definitely really enjoyed the formula the blending was absolutely flawless like flawless <laughs> So let's move on to the blush. Okay, so for the blush, we have Pink Dahlia and I definitely went out of my comfort zone for this shade. I usually tend to go for the peachy shades. <laughs> so I figured, you know what, YOLO. Does anybody even use that anymore? But I decided just to go ahead and go with Pink Dahlia. I am though. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did switch brushes for the bronzer, the cream bronzer. I went in instead with my Sigma F53. Um, I don't know, I just felt like it was more of a, this is more of a bronzing brush than this Real Techniques one. This is more like for like contouring and just getting in there, you know? Okay, so blush, Pink Dahlia, and I'm using my Sigma F40, and I'm going to go right in. I'm not even going to bother using the brush that is provided in here because the last time I did that with the makeup by Mario, it did lift up my product, and also going in lifted up my foundation, so I'm just not even gonna deal with that today. So let's go in. Oh, it's a beautiful color. Oh, I like that. It's pretty. It does not look balmy like the Makeup by Mario, um, but it definitely is not super matte, I don't feel like. No. I have like a little pimple there, so. Um, it's like right in the perfect spot, isn't it? That's pretty. Ooh, I'm glad I got this shade, it's beautiful. All right, so far, so good. That is how the blush is looking. Um, and I feel like it looks pretty good. I definitely look like I am nice and bronzed up. <laughs> but now we are going to go in to the highlighter and dripping in gold is the shade. I'll show you swatches of everything, don't you worry. With this, um, I think I am going to start with my finger and go from there because it definitely feels balmy. And yeah, so I'm going to, once you blend it out, the balm, like the balmy texture kind of goes away. It does have like glitter sparkles. I don't like that too much. Um, I don't like glitter in my highlighter, but... Let's see, let's see. Um, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, okay. Um, it looks beautiful though. That looks gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is definitely more of like a natural kind of look. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can glam it up, but I definitely feel like these are geared more for like a dewy natural type of finish. It's beautiful though, oh my goodness. I did not expect to like that as much. Out of all the products, the highlighter for sure is the one that I was 
the least excited about, but it is the one that is really just impressing me the most. Oh my gosh. Okay, here is the finished look. Highlighter is absolutely beautiful. I just don't like the glitter particles that it has. I can definitely see it being super gorgeous. Like say you're going for like a pool party or out on the beach and you know with the sun hitting like the highlighter it just looking absolutely gorgeous um, but i just like i get it but i don't like the glitter <laughs> but it's still beautiful like i feel like it definitely gives me a very natural glow so here are the swatches the top row is the anastasia beverly hills items this is the bronzer in amber and that is the blush in pink dahlia this is makeup by mario right in the middle this is light medium and the blush is soft coral and the bottom row is nude sticks this is in bondi bay and this is tiger lily queen completely different colors and they all actually work absolutely beautiful i would have to do a head-to-head -head between all three to see which one wins it just depends on what kind of finish i'm looking for my makeup for sure the least blush out of the three that i dislike is the makeup by mario for me personally it just feels too like balmy on my cheeks the nude sticks is also that consistency but i do feel that when you blend it out it's a little bit tiny bit more matte than the makeup by mario but either way all all of them are absolutely gorgeous let's talk about the prices so the prices are right up there with nude sticks you know in the 30 dollar range which, you know, for a stick of blush and a stick of highlighter, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a lot, I feel personally. <laughs> Same with the bronzer, the Makeup by Mario. So definitely if price is an issue for you, the Makeup by Mario is your way to go. The nude sticks I only got because I, I think they were having a sale. I think it was 40% off. You know but i wanted to review the products for you guys so you can decide if you want to pick them up or not i definitely feel like anastasia beverly hills is coming back with a vengeance i don't know about the face palette that they recently did with the blush and the bronzer and the highlighter because the lightest shade was definitely too dark for like porcelain skin people <laughs> which is usually never an issue right but before that the brow freeze that was a total hit um it just recently became available again at sephora before that it was sold out for quite a while i think anastasia is kind of making a comeback because these products are definitely um two thumbs up for me i think they're absolutely beautiful i love the finish that i have right now like i feel like my makeup looks fabulous yeah so i yeah i am pretty pretty happy with these products and i'm glad i am because they're uh kind of on the higher end price side so it hurt a little bit to purchase these three products and it pretty much be like a hundred dollars <laughs> okay so yeah absolutely love them two thumbs up if you have the money for it purchase them because you will absolutely love it um except for the highlighter if you don't mind glitter then yes you will definitely love it as you can see the finish is absolutely beautiful but if you dislike glitter in your highlighters you will not like it the other two amazing and like i said if you have the money i give you the go to purchase them all right guys well thank you so much for being here i hope you enjoyed this video of me reviewing the new cream bronzer blush and highlighter by anastasia beverly hills all right so i would love it if you gave this video a big old thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm and hopefully bring in some new and fresh eyes to my channel and if you haven't done so already i would love it if you joined my small youtube family by clicking the subscribe button i would love to have you i am on the journey of hopefully reaching 1000 subscribers before the end of 2021 and you can help me out by clicking the subscribe button okay guys i will see you on the next video bye